you know what guys I hear this all the time so many people are saying I've got my affirmations I put them into a mantra so that they're constantly flowing around inside my head inside my body and I've got them posted on my mirror I've got them posted in my office I've got them posted in my car I've got them posted in my wallet and I, they're not working well it's there is a loophole to this that you know what we just tend to overlook it sometimes because affirmations do work it's just a matter of you've heard us talk about mindset and how you have to get rid of the limiting beliefs and how different things will get in your way of achieving and getting what you want in life well affirmations are a way of programming your subconscious mind on a repetitive notion a repetitive mode okay and that's how that works so as you're going through and you're doing your affirmations keep in mind you might this is a might I don't know if you do or not you might have what's what I call a door or a block that is in the way of those affirmations getting in because our mind is a constantly fluid energy that's constantly functioning knowing the subconscious mind works on a program that was programmed in in each of us individually from the time we were born to now to however old you are but the thing is when you can lower that block or open that door in your mind to allow what you want to come in for example if you want wealth if you want travel if you want prosperity whatever that might be you might have this is a might you might have a block saying somewhere in there I want this I dream about it this is what I desire but you have that little bitty sliver of a door that is still closed that says you're never gonna get that you don't deserve that why do you keep trying why do you keep wasting your time why do you keep following these people that have more than you do why do you keep doing this when you do that that little bitty voice in your subconscious mind will always get in there and always tell you something even if it's not something you want to hear and maybe maybe you can take control of that part of your mind and say you know what I've got this I don't need any little part of me talking about not having not getting not wanting and any little part of me that's not in tune to what I truly desire open those doors let those beliefs that anything is holding you back that you're not worthy you're not in tune you're not this or you're not that because you have the ability to be do and have anything in the world you want but those doors and those blocks that we have in our subconscious mind that stop us from receiving those are blocks that like I said have been there for a long time it's not your fault everyone likes to hear it's not your fault that's just a given everyone out there doesn't want to take responsibility for anything not being their fault which is fine because you know what it's actually not your fault how you were raised it's not your fault the program you were given but you can take responsibility for where you are right now take responsibility for how you think how you feel by taking away the limiting beliefs the limiting actions that you do every day oh I can't have that I can't afford that I can't do that or oh I just I want that but it's not gonna happen or you know change your words up change your feelings change your emotions will take away those blocks it will open those doors so instead of saying I can't afford that say hmm I really I would really like to have that but I'm not ready I don't want it yet say I don't make the choice I don't want it yet but I know that when I'm when I do want it it'll be there you're opening that door and your subconscious is automatically saying okay yeah we got that this is something you like we're going to store that program and when you get the feeling the emotion it's going to all come together it does sound that simple but you know what <clears throat> another thing I've been hearing is people are tending to make things harder than they have to be and there's no reason to make life harder than it has to be 
Life can be easy, it can be simple. The simplest systems and the simplest strategies are the most productive, that are the most prosperous in anything you do. If you have to make something hard, it's not going to work. If you have to sit and think about how, how things aren't gonna work or how you're not deserving of this or how this can't happen because you didn't think of it that way or whatever, don't let that happen. Let it go. Be the you who is in tune. Open those doors in your subconscious mind, in your mind. Your con conscious mind is always working and it's in control. It will send messages to your subconscious mind. So open the doors that are blocking you, that are stopping you, that are in the way. And definitely, yes, open those blocks. Let them go. Tear them down. Tear those walls down. Allow to come in the wealth that you desire in your life every day. That's all you have to do. Sounds simple because you know what? It will take time. Granted, it will take time, but it is simple. Okay, guys, talk to you later.